Welcome back to the Top Shelf Literary Editions. This is episode 26, I believe. Thank you for joining me once again. I hope you're enjoying the series. My name is Ernest Whiteman III. I'm a Northern Rapport filmmaker, artist, writer, and media educator. And we're looking at the top shelf of my book collection. I have a pre-selected book. I'll give you a short synopsis, a review of if I've read it. There's a lot of books in my collection that I have not or are in the progress of reading and uh, a review or uh, the reason why I purchased the book. Um, today's book is Testimony, the biography of Robbie Robertson or the autobiography of Robbie Robertson. And um, what I like about Robbie Robertson is one, he was part of the band back in the 70s, but he's also a Mohawk uh, ancestry. His mother was born and raised on the Six Nations Reserve in Canada and um, he rose to fame and fortune as part of the band and when they um, ended their run he went on to a pretty good solo career. In fact I would recommend his first four albums uh, to anyone. Uh, his first album I think is one of consider it those um, perfect albums where every track is really good. And um, so this tells his story of uh, growing up partially on the Six Nations Reserve in Canada and how he became, you know, such a legendary singer-songwriter. Now some controversy has come to uh, Robbie Robertson over his um, writing credits or songwriting credits. Uh, which you can take as here or there. Um, that doesn't diminish anything he's done as a solo artist. Um, and there's a, a Once We're Brothers, which is a documentary about uh, Robbie Robertson and the band. He's featured in the doc musical documentary Rumble uh, about Native, how Native Americans influenced rock and roll. Um, I have not started to read this yet. I read, I think, the first chapter where he leaves the reserve. And so I guess this is a, a partial reading. Um, I can't give a um, good or bad review at this point, but I do want to highlight this book because, again, native author. Um, and it tells a story that isn't commonly told in Native American literature, which is, you know, the musical side, the musical influences. And, um, yeah. Uh, I first encountered Robbie Robertson uh, when we went to my, big bro my older brother's home and he had cable TV and they were playing, uh, their, my other older brother was switching between the channels and we came up on MTV and we saw these Plains Indians running across uh, the screen to some really great music and hey look Indians and we stopped and it was the music video for Showdown at Big Sky which featured Robbie Robertson and um, the Bodines. So um, we looked up who Robbie Robertson was, uh, pretty ignorant that he was, was in the band. But when we found out he was in the band, we looked up the band's oeuvre and were just blown away by all the great music that they uh, produced than um, what Robbie Robertson produced as a solo artist. So um, if you're interested, go get it. It is in paperback now. I bought this second hand at uh, Half Price Books. Uh, that's it for today. I'll see you next time.